2023 KX 250. Let's make it a little bit better. Hey, what's up guys? Rado here and we have this 2023 KX 250 that we wrote in the last video. This thing is fully stacked, 100% stacked. And as you uh, saw in the last video, I love this bike. Uh, we went to Glen Helen and uh, the engine felt really good. Uh, there are noticeable improvements compared to 2022. I spent a long time on 2022 in last season. This season I want to race this bike, 2023, and I want to put a lot of hours on the track uh, on this bike. So definitely want to make it fit my skills and my riding and also my weight. So that was one thing that in last video did not feel 100%. Definitely the, the fork felt a little bit too stiff for me and it wasn't just working for me. So we're going to take a suspension fork and a shock out today and take it over to a factory connection. They're going to set it up for me. They're going to do some revolving new springs and all that. And so it will match my uh, weight, my, uh, my riding, my speed and all that. So we will be set on the suspension. And while we are doing that, the suspension is out and we will have good access to our steering stand bearings and also linkage and the swing arm. We want to pull them out and just uh, see how much grease there is. Uh, this is a brand new bike and I highly recommend if you guys are getting brand new bike or if you bought a bike that is one or two years old, uh, the chances are that uh, those bearings are not fully packed. So it's always a good idea to take them apart when the bike is still fresh and brand new and uh, grease them yourself. Make sure that the, all the bearing has plenty of grease. Put them back together, tie, you know, uh, uh, tighten everything with uh, a <clears throat> with your torque wrench and make sure that uh, you know that everything is 100%. You don't need to worry about it for the next uh, couple seasons. You can just ride the bike and everything is okay. Now I'm going to first take out the shock and uh, this is a little bit uh, unusual way I'm doing it now and that's because we are also working on our bearings. So when you guys do this at home and you only do the shock, you don't need to remove your swing arm for the shock to be removed. But since we are going to do all the bearings on the swing arm and also on the linkage, we need to remove that anyway. So that's why I'm keeping my subframe in a place. Normally I would take the subframe off and that would give me access for the shock so I would be able to remove the shock. But now we're gonna take out all the bolts from our linkage and everything just needs to go out. Kawi has a good setup, all the bolts are the same size, so just get your 17 millimeter there and uh, taking all the bolts out from the linkage, then we'll be able to remove the linkage itself. There is another bolt that will help us to you know, remove the dog bone, the part of the linkage, and after that we'll keep moving, take out the main bolt that goes through the swing arm frame and the engine, and then will help us to remove our swing arm. As you can see here, the brake pedal is actually blocking the, the bolt, so I have to go ahead and remove the brake pedal a little bit and then keep it a little bit higher. You see, I'm hitting it right now with the bolt, so I keep it a little bit higher, that will allow me to pull that main bolt out, and right now we can take the swing arm off and we should be ready to go. Now also remember when you put everything back together, you need to grease those bolts. Uh, the main bolt for the swing arm needs to be greased. This uh, KX wasn't too bad uh, at the swing arm. We still had uh, some grease uh, in it. Uh, the bike is like eight hours on, so guys over at, uh, at Kawasaki did a decent job greasing it. But there was still room for improvement, so we you know, put a grease on our finger. And then, as you can see, Jay here is uh, pushing everything in uh, and not only like uh, touching the top, but also trying to rotate the bearing, those needles, so the grease will get all over the place. Yeah, I think I forgot to mention we are at the Dirt Bike TV Garage. Uh, Jay is, uh, you know, doing this little project with me. I am mostly a camera guy and taking stuff apart. So this is how the pro is doing it. So Jay's been doing this for like 30 years and we are good friends. So we many times do things together. So here you can see that uh, he is actually rotating the bearing as he's uh, pushing the grease inside. Now, first of all, when you work on your parts, of course, you don't want to have them dirty. So go ahead and spray some uh, scrubbing bubbles on it and clean it a little bit. You can also hydroblast, but once you hydroblast it, uh, yes, it does look brand new, but you have to replace all the bearings because the hydroblastic media will get everywhere. So I usually hydroblast my things when I rebuild the bike fully, but if I'm just regreasing it, I would just clean it with scrubbing bubbles or, or a simple green or something like that. Same procedure here, grease it with your finger, 
move those needle bearings and you know make sure that you have enough grease. With those needle bearings they are sometimes a little bit tricky, the needles actually they come off easily, especially if you have a sticky grease on your finger and you try to work it in, sometimes you take the finger out without knowing that one of those uh, needles is stuck to your finger and then you put it in the bucket of grease and then you don't even know that it's there and after we are done you find one is missing so you know it's a little tricky so make sure before you put all the spacer back in and close your linkage like this make sure that every single bearing has all the needles that you need for assembly it's time to move forward with our uh, front of course we're gonna take out the wheel and then we also need to remove the front four guards and the brake caliper that will be just hanging there waiting for us once we are done we're gonna remove front suspension and once that's done then we're gonna go back and check the steering stand bearings the steering stand bearings actually are the ones that we've seen that are neglected the most the manufacturer would put some grease on them but definitely it's definitely not grease to the point where I would like it so here all the suspension is out ready to go we're gonna drop it a factory connection they're gonna set it for my weight skill and all the good stuff all right so we are taking out all the steering stem i'm going to show you the detail here now look at the bearing yeah you can see some traces of the grease but this is definitely not fully greased so it was really good thing that we took it out we're just going to put the grease on our palm of our hand and keep going and greasing everything even the bottom doesn't look amazing so there is definitely room for improvement so we're going to get a little grease and fill everything up once everything is greased, we can put it back together. As you can see, Jay is putting this, uh, this bolt on the tab and he has this special tool. Sometimes you can use the, the pliers, the big pliers to grab it. Of course, it's good to have all the tools, but uh, not all of us have it. Anything that makes the job done, I think it's okay. Now, uh, once we have this done, we put the tab, triple clamp on it, and then tighten everything and make sure that we have a good resistance. It shouldn't be too loose, it shouldn't be too tight. I think you can get a feel for it and also when you put your wheel and suspension on it will feel a little bit different so now at this point we are ready for the suspension we're gonna wait for factory connection to set the suspension for me and then we're gonna take this baby for a little ride all right guys so we got the suspension back from factory connection all the bearings are greased everything is back together <laughs> my friend bike feels really good uh, you know I cannot uh, tell you enough how good I feel on 250 especially on this track there's a lot of turns it's much easier to stay in the rut stay in second third gear and it just feels amazing I have a really good time riding this track here suspension is much better I don't feel my arm pump as I did before on the stock suspension it is much plusher a little more compliant so definitely good job factory connection everything is greased and now we can just jump on this bike and put a lot of hours we have currently about eight hours on the bike my plan is to put maybe 60 80 hours in this season and see how it goes as you see it's uh, starting to rain and uh, the track is really good now some standing water here and there but a lot of fun all right my friend so this is the first and second thing i would do to a brand new dirt bike grease your bearings and get your suspension dialed in for you and you should be good to go that's about it for today and don't forget whatever you do Stay motivated. See you guys later.